Welcome back to Let's Play Blood Will Tell. You ready for a long walk? Yes. No. Very exciting. Just follow the little green arrow. <laughs> <laughs> and that way's blocked off. So I'm like, I've taken even longer. Route. Oh man, this is great. This should... took over two <laughs> minutes in real time. <laughs> oh no, not that two was minutes. Ten times speed. I mean, would you want to start off a video with two yes. of me walking across the village? So we'll have a lot to talk too about. Bad. That's why you're not the director. Oh, true story. So, of course, we came all the way over here for a hidden fiend. And what we gotta do is break all of these rocks. The game's manual says that these are gravestones, and that this is the graveyard. <laughs> and that this is the grave fiend. <laughs> Indeed it is. Is it? I mean... Grave golem. Oh, snap. Look at him. With some fancy things coming out of his face. Yeah. Would you believe those are his weak spots? Yes. No. Well, then you'd be right. <laughs> I don't know what to answer anymore. Do it those back, so that means um, I had to do this on a replay. Hmm. Wait, did we ever properly explain um, that I'm completely blind and just watching? Um pretty sure people have realized at this point, due to your very sincere reactions. <laughs> but yes, you are knowing absolutely nothing. I mean, I am completely blind, like I can't even see anything. Oh, you're like uh, Yaki was at the beginning of the game. Pretty much. Perfect. Then you can sympathize. <laughs> no, he has his eyes back. <laughs> One of them. Close enough. At least you can see in color. And I pretty much wrecked this boss. He's actually a little easier than the Inquisitor is, so... Decent power Yaki can tear him apart. Yeah. Well, Doro... Oh, that was a... I've never seen Doro do that kick before. Yeah, we're gonna see it quite a bit. Starts liking to use it these days. <laughs> see? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. The machine gun. I don't see you use that too much. Yeah, it's not... Intensely useful. I mostly use it to build spear gauge. Yeah. And uh, he's so close to dead right now. I don't really need to do that. This guy's pretty Plus easy. Plus, it runs out of ammo really quick. Oh yeah, I forgot you had ammo for it. Yeah. This guy's a uh, pretty big challenge. Yeah, he killed me um, when I wasn't over leveled, but uh, now that I am, he's toast. Plus, I did some really sick dodging at the beginning of this fight that I didn't point out for modesty's sake. <laughs> That's, that was a good ending. Yep. So what do you get this time? <laughs> you won't believe it. This is one of the more ridiculous <laughs> body parts. When does he get his femur? <laughs> it's part of his leg. I so. know. I mean, I'm sure. I guess we'll find out. That's an important body part. But a more important body part is the platelets. Cause the what? <laughs> That's so random. <laughs> does he have blood? Uh, I assume he has blood. It's just been gushing out of him. I guess he's been a severe hemophiliac up till now. Is it called platelets? Platelets, platelets. Ah, uh, I'm gonna correct you on that one. Okay, go. <laughs> like I'll be doing a let's play like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thought it wasn't gonna happen again. <laughs> so I teleported us back because you didn't need to see another two minute walk. That's like the best part. It is the best part. I would have killed you if you kept episode. that in. <laughs> Like, All right, so you're gonna talk through this whole thing. Yeah, I would add a lot of time to fill. Now, uh, it was pointed out in the thread that uh, when we switched to the poison sword, which is a level higher than the starting sword, our attack power went down by a point. And um, that's been confusing me for quite a while since then. I've been doing a lot of research to try and figure out why that happened, and I still can't quite figure it out. It's because poison sword sucks. What I've determined. I guess. I, mean, um, I figured out that every other level on a uh, weapon raises your attack power by one. And um, I'm pretty sure that uh, the starting sword, the unmarked blade, has uh, one of the swords that has a hidden property that causes it to uh, increase attack power. There's a couple of other swords that do that as well. But that's my best guess so far. It's, the mass still doesn't add up from what I've been doing, but uh, it's getting pretty close at least. <laughs> so you laid it Late at night, just like scratching your neck all freaking out. Yeah, my hair is <laughs> up like Einstein right now. I have no idea. It what just doesn't on. make sense. 
Waiting for my Eureka moment when I run across town naked. I can see <laughs> I figured it out. Back to the bamboo thicket. All right. Following the slime trail. And the arrows are pointing us up to that very obvious arena area in the mini-map there. But before we go there, we're taking a detour because we are missing an extremely important item. Your heart. We... Uh, <laughs> not that important. Your brain. <laughs> a non-body part item. The other collectible in this game. Oh. Yeah. Which you don't even know about. We haven't gotten one yet. Yeah, children. So this is uh, <laughs> the way we could have gone instead of uh, following um, the troll last time we came to the bamboo thicket. It leads to the same place, but um, it's got much harder enemies back here. It's a good chance of dying. Hmm. Is there like a huge like level difference? Um, they start throwing water horrors at us back here. They're uh, pal swap of these green guys. And they do tons of damage, huh. and they send those uh, spinning discs all over the place, so you can get really effed up. There's them now. And here's a fancily decorated rock. Might be seeing that again at a future date. So um, these little water guys are based off of uh, the Japanese yokai uh, called Kappa, which are really gross water monsters. A lot of their uh, description on yokai.com is about their anuses, so don't read that. <laughs> Um, we got a scroll, a spell scroll, as it is. Hmm. That is going to give us a new spirit attack, because Sparrow's Flight is garbage. Which one was Sparrow's Flight? The firestorm. It's the spinning stupid thing that misses all the time. Oh, yeah. We got Firestorm. Firestorm rules. It's like the best one in the game. It's way up there. It's among the best. Really? Yeah. We're going to be using it a lot for a long time. So, back up the way we're supposed to go. What happened to the, uh, you want some guy? <laughs> he is actually dead, like, he like, saved the money, so. Oh, so he, like, completely disappeared and... Yep. That's what I thought. Yeah. I was hoping you could crack his head open, though. Ah, uh, if only. Some, some people are gonna miss that little guy. He was kind of a lovable character. Was he? A lovable scam. I didn't like him at all. <laughs> I'm gonna use this guy to, uh, top off my health. Cause I'm gonna need all of it. Hard bite, or hard fight, hard bite coming up. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a hard fight in volley, hard Away bites. Uh-oh. There we go. Are you fight, um, what's the name of Yukai, or? Uh, we're gonna fight... Whatever I know. A familiar face, that's for sure. Okay. A werewolf. The Scourge. Remember him? Yes, now I do. That was the one in the um yeah. in the well, right? Yes. Now I remember. Yeah. It's like the Medusa wannabe with hands. He's way, way harder than he was back in the well. Where's that firestorm, man? I'm uh holding on to it for a couple seconds. But we will be seeing it very shortly. Yeah, his uh, weak spot is that tongue that he keeps spitting at us. <laughs> the one that's going to do damage to you. <laughs> yeah, if you touch it, it knocks you down. So it's really hard to hit it. Also his tail, but uh, the tail you can only hit with a cannon. Huh. Here's the firestorm. Oh, that's badass. Yeah. Knocked him into his second form. I was about to say, did you just kill him already? Oh, no such luck. Come on, Yaki. You're supposed to jump. Ooh. And the truth is revealed. How did he not know that? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Last Horse crosses the finish line, but uh, it's a cool visual, at least. Yeah. It's kind of funny, like, I think Doro even knew. <laughs> it's not just a thief, it's a demon. Yaki's like, no. Well, we've known from the very moment we met her that... Um, Something was evil about her because we could see uh, Hyaki's demon sense. Yeah, that was the purple fog in the room. But uh, we just didn't know in what capacity she was evil. Yeah, we do. So she went down. She was in the well with them then, huh? Somehow. Yeah. At the same time. She. Um, she has that secret passage that leads from her mansion oh, yeah. through the well. 
She got there pretty fast. So she would tie people up, she would have the villagers tie people up, and then she would sneak around. Oh, she would come out of the well and kill them. Yeah. It's a crazy bitch. Yep. And she <laughs> was lucky enough to stumble upon the stupidest village in the world and mislead it for a thousand years. I thought we were, we lived in the stupidest village in the world, but yeah, apparently not. Turns out. <laughs> Now, this phase of the fight is where it actually gets difficult. Yeah. Starts using these, uh, Virgil Phantom Swords. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> and whipping that tail around. The tail is so fast that it hits you almost every time he swings it. It's rough. Hmm. You can almost never get that uh, critical hit on the top. It always sucks it in uh, yeah. too fast. Yeah, and even still it hit you right there, right? Yeah, he starts doing the second attack where he waves the tongue around. I don't know why I'm still calling it a he. Yeah. It's part of you die, but whatever. Who cares? Yeah. Looks like a he. We're not good with genders on this let's play. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. We don't uh, conform to gender binaries here. Hey, you're about to die, man. And, yeah, I'm getting wrecked. This is, uh, like I said, a very difficult fight. I've said this game isn't very hard, but yeah, it has its moments, and I am yeah. a millimeter away from yeah, that, so I'm not going near that thing. You're a fucking liar! Are you going to use a Firestorm? <laughs> uh, no, I don't have it. You don't? No. You have to have, like, full mana or something? Full, uh, spirit, oh, yeah. yeah. The bar has to be flashed before you can use spirit moves. Oh, what a, what a miss. <laughs> Tried to use my last couple of bullets, but... <laughs> yeah, the lock-on with the, uh... Arm cannon isn't always perfect. But we got clean shot at the tail. Nice. And thankfully I had exactly enough cannon rounds to finish it off. It's like a fly lizard demon thing. I don't know what that is. Huh? You die, you're behind all this. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn, she got away. I have to warn Dororo. Dororo, Yudai is heading toward the village. She's the demon. Watch out. I hear you loud and clear. Hiyaki, she's headed back to her manor. Now that uh, two second cutscene oh, there had here. a full loading screen before and after it. <laughs> so that was a case of severely... Uh, Flow breaking uh, loading screens. <laughs> you're, you're like, you just look at that poison sword, like, hmm. Yeah. What the fuck? There's a small chance I'm gonna regret uh, regret switching from it, but uh, that remains to be seen. <laughs> it's like you instantly get poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> and just a bunch of poison mines. There's uh, no fire-based enemies in the near vicinity, so... So you just switched to the fire one for... For fun, because it was new. Gotcha. Does it do more damage? Uh, no. It's a level lower, but uh, it does the same amount of damage. Here. Of course. I've got this whole place memorized. You ready to go in yet? I would hope he's got it memorized, because he's been through right. here four times. What a mess. This time we're using the front door, though. That's why it's full of demons. The camera angles, man. Yeah. Particularly these cramped indoor areas have really bad camera angles. But they're extremely limited throughout the game. It's usually open areas. It's a PS2 game anyway. It's a good excuse. It's a bit of a PS2 game, yeah. Like, that's people's main complaint about uh, the first Devil May Cry, is that the uh, camera angles are really, really bad, and I love the first Devil May Cry. Yeah, I remember being uh, a little bit weird as time. <laughs> that's poison, not Hiyaki. We hadn't seen it yet, but... I can't move! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. It's not very fun. At least it leveled up. Yep. So I'm at the, at the very least hyper-tolerant of bad camera angles. <laughs> Well, because I remember playing, like, Resident Evil 4 and, uh, other games that had, like, the still camera angles for rooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, Devil May Cry wasn't that bad. It had some of that, though. Yeah. People definitely 
overblow that uh, yeah. flaw with Devil May Cry 1. That's cool. Devil May Cry 2... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a hidden masterpiece. You could say whatever the we hell you want about there's that. There's no flaws with that. There isn't. There's zombie tanks. It's just like the PS2 Shinobi. Aw, oh, man. That was like... Shinobi, like the first like two levels, I was pretty impressed with that game. And then... And then you constantly die. <laughs> yeah, it's a really hard game. I legitimately love it, though. Yeah, I'd never beat it. I was too young and stupid. Yeah, I beat it, and I beat it on hard, but I didn't beat it on super. To my eternal shame. <laughs> Still, I got Demon Souls under my belt, so... <laughs> That's all I care about. Very different type of action. Oh my god. Uh, impressive, nonetheless. Yeah. But I remember Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry 3 was definitely the tough one. Yeah, the original release of it before they introduced uh, Gold Orbs and Infinite Continues. Yeah. Agonizing. Yep. I almost rage quit that game forever because I couldn't get past Agni and Rudra. Oh, I can't remember who those were. They're like the twins. One of them is fire, and the other one's ice. Oh yeah, I remember Wind. that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that shit was a pain in the ass. Yeah, like. And you have to redo the entire level if you ran out of uh, yellow orbs. Yeah, I remember that. That was rough. I forgot who the other guy that gave me, gave me problems were. Uh, I think it was Beowulf. Alright, is that his name? And then you get his weapon? Probably. I think you fight Beowulf two or three times. Yeah. But that's always a really good boss fight. Yeah, but it's still, I just remember the difficulty was, uh, it wasn't easy. On yeah. uh, harder difficulties, obviously. Well, that's probably the hardest game in the entire uh, Devil May Cry series. Yeah, Devil May Cry 4 is pretty uh, pretty easy. For the most part. Certainly the narrow half. Yeah. So we're coming up on the end of this repeated area that we're never going to have to see again, <laughs> thankfully. You die. Your days of terrorizing this village are over, demon witch. I'll send you back to the Hellfire from whence you came. Cha! Cha! Impudent fool. Don't you realize I have ruled this valley for a thousand years? You have discovered my secret. Now you shall perish. Shakimaru, I shall devour you! Oh, there's that mask that we don't know the name of, and we didn't bother to look up. After one whole video of not knowing what the masks are. Only it's not a mask. It's her hideous face. Oh my god. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Not really. Ooh, guess you're outside now. Ogress. Mm -hmm. That's uh, one of the rare times they actually use the uh, traditional Japanese name to... Uh describe their monsters. It's kinda cool. Yeah. And there goes half your health. A good chunk of it. That's why I need the new lightning sword. Because <laughs> that's what she's dropping on us. The new poison sword. <laughs> <laughs> she's got uh, that attack that comes out pretty quickly, and uh, if you're not already dodging by the time she starts it, you're pretty much going to get hit by it. Yeah. But the lightning attack is very easy to dodge. It's got such a slow uh, wind up <laughs> get behind her. Yeah, Doro totally added to your combo right there. <laughs> yep. That was amazing. Now her back is her weak spot, so uh, that cannon round did half damage, but... Eh. Well, got the job done. It did damage. Yeah. Whoa. There's a laser. The traditional Japanese laser. <laughs> <laughs> Traditional Japanese laser gun. Shaki! I can just remember! I found this inside the manor! Huh? It wasn't going like this earlier! Good job, Dororo. It looks like this may work against the demon. Dororo! I'm on it! Yeah. Ah! 
Inferno, you okay? I'll get you, Thomas! Capibano! Oh, good uppercut. <laughs> Uppercutted it right on <laughs> right, top of right. the building. <laughs> That's some Mortal Kombat shit right there. Oh god. So now she's not gonna let us attack her anymore. She's dropped some minions and she's gonna fire that laser at us constantly. Forever? Yeah. And uh, it seems like it only covers a small area, but if you try to move closer or farther away from it, As Doro it just covers it out. the entire screen. <laughs> yeah, Doro just gets killed here. He becomes useless. So do you, apparently. I tried to use a slice attack to um, get a rice ball off of that guy, which is possible, but it's not reliable. You dropped something, right? Yeah, they drop uh, cannon rounds here so that you can shoot her while she's on top of the uh, tower. Got it. Yep. But she fires the laser so much while she's up there, you rarely get a chance to. But she keeps you supplied with minions. <laughs> and the minions keep you supplied with damage. I guess you, you could have hit her right there. Yeah. If you take a risk and uh, dodge to the left and set it to the right like you're supposed to, then you'll have time to shoot a cannon. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. Indeed. Now, um, the actual name for an ogress in uh, Japan is a Kijo. It's sort of a female equivalent of an Oni. And um, they're known to sort of get into positions of political power. Sort of like uh, you guys did. So all Japanese politicians are these things? Yes. Little <laughs> known fact. <laughs> oh, that was great. Yes, yes they are. Oh, I went for the cannon shot while she was up there, but I missed. <laughs> Tordo died. Oh no. Game over. It's sort of like what actually happens in the manga. Uh, Dororo gets kidnapped by the uh, demon, who is actually named Bondi, not Yudai. Huh. Like the video game company. I wonder if there's a copyright for that one. <laughs> Possibly. And like Dororo gets beaten to within an inch of his life, he almost dies. How many times? This is the worst he ever gets in the, pretty much the entire manga during this chapter. Just die already, Rita. <laughs> we killed her good. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> What do you get? It's femur? Mm hmm. Close enough, man. <laughs> Ow, that looks there painful it is. as fuck. That's, well, not that's why he's screaming in agony. <laughs> it's not a femur. It grew on backwards. <laughs> and now we can use uh, Dororo's dash move. Thank God. Which is awesome, yeah. We're going to use it a lot. Oh. Oh. Yucky, you okay? Please! He needs a place to rest! Can someone help him? I don't think so. Demon? Demon? Can't come to my house? No way. It appears that you too are cursed by demons. We have had enough trouble with demons. I'm afraid you will have to leave. What an asshole. What? We save your stupid village and this is the thanks we get? If he hadn't helped you, that demon Yudai would still be torturing you. You'd all still be her slaves. So? I don't remember any of that. What do you want us to do? It doesn't matter. I can't help you now. We didn't know you were a demon. Nothing yeah, if not for us. If we knew That's then, enough, Dororo. Dororo. That demon. No. That fiend. Was drawn by your unwillingness to save yourselves. She pretended to be compassionate, but she used you all like slaves. She kept you on the brink of death. You all should be ashamed of yourselves, you filthy bastards. And then he just leaves. She fed off your suffering and uh, The fiend's in your house. <laughs> in your house. <laughs> Rebuild your village. Bring peace into your lives. Do it with your own hands. Because I can't. <laughs> Let's go, Dororo. 
Okay. Thank you, Yakimaru. I'm glad they found peace. Yeah. The child has survived. Hyakimaru. Hyakimaru is the enemy of the fiends. Hyakimaru must perish! Demons of the underworld, you must kill Hyakimaru! Nothing shall stop us from building our demon world! Hyakimaru had at last saved the village from the powerful fiend. Yet the villagers began to look at Hyakimaru with growing suspicion. They began to fear and hate his power. Yet Hyakimaru did not mind. He had learned that not only could he regain his lost body parts by defeating the fiends, he could bring happiness back to the people of this world. Hyakimaru looked to the heavens and swore an oath. He would defeat the 48 fiends and make himself whole again, no matter what dangers may lie ahead. So, like I said in the comic, that uh, scene where um, they're begging for a place to stay while uh, Hyaki recovers basically plays out in reverse with Hyakimaru holding a dying child in his hand, begging <laughs> a village he just saved for a place to stay, and they said, get out, you limbless freak. They were actually discriminatory, not just afraid of the demons. Bunch of douchebags. Yeah, it's a bleaker world, I must say. So, um, what did you think of the first chapter? Uh, it was pretty cool, I think. I, or I know. <laughs> no, I, I enjoyed it. It's um, I definitely like the game so far. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I will say that is one of the weakest chapters in the entire game. So that's good. Yeah, it's uphill from here, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing some more of it. Me too. Yeah. See you next time.